Understanding the news in English, number one. Understanding the news in English can be a tricky but fun learning experience because you can learn loads of colloquial expressions and vocabulary. Let's try to understand three newspaper headlines from the news recently. Let's start with this headline from the Evening Standard, which contains some typical newspaper vocabulary. In case you don't know, Wigan is a town near Manchester. A hit and run is the act of driving and causing a traffic accident without stopping afterwards to help the victim. So it basically means you hit someone with your car or run them over and escape by driving away. A hunt comes from the verb to hunt for, which means to search for something lost or missing. We commonly use this to talk about the police looking for a criminal. In this case, it refers to the driver who ran over the woman outside the hospital. Let's look at another headline. In this second headline, taken from the Daily Mirror, we have a few interesting things. Lotto is a shorter way of saying lottery, and this refers to the national lottery in the UK. This headline explains that one lottery winner scooped £1 million. The verb to scoop means to win an amount of money or an award like an Oscar. It's a regular verb, so the past form is scooped. An informal way of saying to spend money on something expensive is to use the phrasal verb to splash out on something. In this case, the lottery winner splashed out on a luxury cruise. This final headline is a football one from the Liverpool Echo local newspaper. If you like football, the football press is a great tool for learning colloquial English. The interesting thing about this headline is that it contains a phrasal verb and a colloquial noun. First of all, in case you didn't know, a midfielder is a position on the football pitch in central midfield. In football or sport, we use the phrasal verb to rule out someone to say that a player won't be able or available to play for a period of time due to injury. This would be more in a situation in professional sport. Here it is really the passive form with the first part omitted, which is common in newspaper English. A blow is an unfortunate event or a sudden setback. Here the journalist has used it to explain that the Liverpool player's injury is a big disappointment for the football club. If you want to learn British English with me, hit the subscribe button to join the community and take your English to the next level.